My name's Shane Kinney. Uh, I'm the owner at the Drum Center of Portsmouth. We opened in June of 2009. Uh, I started with a shoestring uh, would be a compliment. I mean, we really uh, started with just absolutely so little. And I remember, you know, seeing the first few pictures with my uh, three or four snare drums. I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Uh, and I think that everybody thought that I was crazy, and, uh, well, they were right. Uh, my first business plan was just survival. <laughs> I knew that failure wasn't going to be an option because I knew I couldn't do anything else. I had to do this. This is what I needed to do, and I was going to do it. You know, here we are now, five years later. Um, I had this idea that I wanted to uh, you know, make the coolest drum store in the world and I wanted to just put everything I had into it to do that. And now we have uh, an incredible display of snare drums and no shortage of inventory. And we have uh, clients, customers and friends from all over the world. Customers aren't just consumers anymore. They want to feel like they're part of something and they're not just putting their money in some nameless, faceless corporation. They want to be a part of an independent drum community. And that was really, again, one of my original goals was to create a global drum community. Uh, I want that mom and pop experience and bring it to the internet. We carry most of the major drum brands and drum lines and cymbal lines. And we also do a lot of boutique lines. Some of the drums that we have, we're the only dealer in the world for some of these brands. We're able to cater to the person who wants to spend $2,000 on a snare drum to the person who wants to spend $300 on a drum set. There's no difference in excitement for me. To me, that's the gift of music, and I, I just love that. Another thing that's exciting for me is the, the factory visits. I love visiting these factories. I love seeing how these companies make these products. Uh, it allows me uh, the opportunity to learn more. We have great relationships with our vendors. They call on us to get our feedback from products that they're about to release. Sometimes they want our help in developing uh, products, which is always fun. And sometimes we come up with some exclusive products, products that we've come up with that they made for us, which is always so much fun for me. We've had a lot of uh, recognition uh, from the industry. A lot of the trade magazines have taken an interest. Um, we've been recognized as a, a top 100 dealer uh, for the third year in a row now, so 2012, 13, and 14. We've been recognized as uh, one of the top 100 independent music stores, which is just an incredible honor. I think one of the things that really set us apart in the beginning was YouTube and social media. I think there were maybe one or two other stores I could think of at the time that was doing any sort of video presentation for products. My concept was I wanted to do snare drum demonstrations with different tunings, and I didn't see anybody doing that at the time. It's funny to look back on the original videos. Now it's really evolved into what it is now, and millions of views and tons of subscribers. And we also really went right off with Facebook and lots of social media. I took advantage of uh, as much free advertising I, I could get. When I opened the store, I knew that it was going to be me and just me for quite some time, and it was. <laughs> I would uh, roll out of bed and just go to work until bedtime. Um, and I did everything for the first uh, 10 months or so. Uh, but slowly, um, as my customer base built up, so did the need for employees. And I feel really fortunate. I feel like we've just built such a great team here, and these guys do a great job. Richard is been here for oh, quite a long time, <laughs> probably the longest, I think. He is the back of house operations. If you ordered something online from us, chances are 99.9% .9 that Richard's the one who 
pack that up and, and shipped it for you. Richard does uh, a little bit of everything uh, around here. He's a real asset to us. Mike, he was probably the first employee. He started working here for store credit. Does a couple days a week, part time, and helps out. Does just a little bit of everything, and he's one of those guys we just love having around. And he's just a real fixture on the Portsmouth scene. If you're gonna go out and see a band play, chances are Mike's gonna be the drummer. Tom is a really uh, interesting guy. Tom's the guy who handles all of the, the data. Uh, he handles all of the inventory, and he is the one who does all of the symbol video demos and takes the photos. Tom's got a really sharp eye, has great attention to detail. Tom's everything that I'm not, so <laughs> it works out really well. Uh, but at the same time, he and I are exactly like in so many other ways. Like it was his, his mother has said to me, She's like, you know you two are brothers, right? <laughs> She's right, because we're so similar and so different. And uh, if you want to talk about symbols, Tom's the guy that uh, he knows our symbol inventory better than anybody. Because if there's a video demo on it, he's the one who played it. Masters 18-inch Dark Crash. Tony has uh, been a long time uh, customer and friend. He moved up from three hours away to come to come work here. So he reminds me a lot of me. He does uh, a lot of the audio and video. All of the audio and video where you see how it's improved so much, it's really because of Tony, uh, because that's a real passion of his as, as well as drumming. Um, but he is... Uh, He's a real gearhead. That's where he reminds me of me. He understands products and gear, and he loves the specs. If you want to get some input on snare drums, Tony's really a great guy to talk to because he really lives and breathes this stuff. Um, so he uh, he's a lot of fun to have around. John has been uh, uh, in charge of doing our, our video editing and uh, uh, helping with the social media presentation. Uh, as well as front of house uh, sales, so um, it's been fun to have him around. And something to emphasize is that all these people started out as you know, customers, friends, uh, and now they're employees, and so they're able to make their living doing this. So that's really uh, cool. And creating new drummers—that's just that's issue number one. It's not so much selling them gear; it's how do we get more drummers? We are really uh, fortunate because we have this uh, nonprofit uh, music school nearby, the Portsmouth Music and Arts Center. And right when I uh, opened, um, one of my first courses of business was to get with the vendors and help uh, facilitate a donation of drum sets and cymbals to outfit their lesson rooms. Another thing we do to support the, our local community is our master classes, our, our clinics. Um, we have uh, several of those a year where we bring in uh, some of the best drummers in the world and have them come here to uh, our store and they do uh, performances and, and master classes to help promote drumming. Over the years we've had some really amazing artists come through and to see it in in the people's eyes as they're watching. It excites me to watch them because I see how excited they're getting. To be a part of that for me is that's that's more exciting than watching the drummer. It's great to do that and they've become our friends and some of them have become our customers and we've had a lot of great relationships with some of the some of the greatest drummers in the world. Um, probably the most exciting for me though was, was uh, being asked to uh, present uh, this drum to Jack DeJanet on his 70th birthday. That was uh, really a tremendous honor. The uh, uh, Sabian cymbals had uh, taken some recycled uh, broken cymbals and casted a drum shell out of that material. And then they sent it over to Germany where Sonor, you know, they made it into a drum. They uh, asked me that week if I could um, bring it to Woodstock, New York and present it to Jack uh, at a concert that was being held in his honor and uh, to me it was really exciting to go and um, 
be able to present this to him and just a really humbling experience. To think about the future is uh, really exciting for me. I love thinking about what we're going to do next and how we're going to uh, push things forward. And at the end of the day, all I really wanted to do was create the coolest drum store in the world. <laughs> if I sit back and think about it for a second, I think we're well on our way. But then I go, wow, well, we've got a long way to go. But it's really just an amazing experience to have the opportunity to even be a part of it and help create that. And I'm really grateful for that. <laughs>